This video will give you a quick understanding of the big picture of the sermon preparation process. What you're looking at here on the screen is the outline of any sermon with a title beginning with getting your audience's attention, addressing their need, the bridging sentences that include the textual idea statement, sermon idea statement, interrogative and transition, and then the main points along with the subpoints and the explanation, illustration, argumentation, and application that will take place under the subpoints and the transitions between the main points. The sermon structure then concludes by visualizing what the truth looks like in action, reiterating the main points, calling the people to action, and then appealing for action. Up in the right corner here you see the 12 MacDill exercise skill steps and uh, I want to show you how these relate to each part of the sermon. So the first thing we do is a structural diagram and the structural diagram uh, often identifies the main idea of the text which will inform your textual idea and sermon idea statements as well as helps you identify the main divisions. Your observations and research exercises inform every part of the text. The textual idea statement focuses specifically on that one aspect of the sermon. Text to sermon bridge addresses your sermon idea statement, your interrogative and transitions all the way through the sermon, as well as your final reiteration. And uh, skill 6 addresses developing your main division statements or the main points of your sermon. Skill 7 addresses how you balance the persuasive elements under each division. Skills 8 and 9 help get audience attention and particularly address illustration all the way through the sermon and the final visualization. Exercise 10 focusing on human experience or need begins by uh, helping you develop the need in the, in the introduction addressed in the sermon idea statement and affects how you illustrate, argue, and apply as well as call people to action. The 11th step also impacts argumentation and application and particularly the action and appeals you make in your conclusion. And your conclusion then wraps together all that you've worked on in these four steps. This uh, document is on Google Drive and following uh, this page you see a, an example of a sermon template with explanation. This isn't a sermon, this is an explanation of what each part of the sermon structure entails. So just for example, attention, an opening illustration, story problem, or statistic that catches your audience's attention. And then each part is explained all the way through the conclusion. Following this sermon template with explanations is an example of a sermon I've preached from Matthew 28, 18 to 20, and gives you a, a basic feel for how uh, this might look like in real life.